Hello friends, welcome to my channel and thank you for your interest in this topic. In this video, I am going to share with you about the conceptual meaning of different terminology associated with municipal solid waste. Generally, when you see a pile of waste collected on the roadside or inside a collection bin, what do you actually call it? Do you call it a refused, a rubbished, a trashed, or a garbage? We people normally might assume that these municipal solid waste terminology or words carry the same meaning when we use them from time to time. But technically, they differ slightly from one another in terms of their meaning. Therefore, with this objective, that is to clarify the doubt of the difference between this different terminology, this video was made. For easy understanding of this municipal solid waste terminology, first, let us quickly see what are we referring to when we say petrusible and non petrusible waste a biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste, a combustible and non-combustible waste, a dry and wet waste, a commingle and an inert waste. First, let's see what are biodegradable solid waste. Biodegradable solid waste are the waste that can be degraded or broken down by microorganisms into a simpler end products. That is the manure. And these waste are organic in nature. Next, we will see what are non-biodegradable waste. These are those type of waste that cannot be degraded under the natural condition. For example, plastic waste or the aluminum waste. These type of waste are synthetic in nature and they are the source of pollution to the environment. Now, we'll see what are petrusible and non-petrusible waste. Petrusible waste are those which, which are decomposable under natural condition. Therefore, they are biodegradable and they also produce obnoxious odor, such as, for example, the food waste, the solid farm waste, and dead animals, etc. Whereas, non petrusible waste are those which, which does not decompose. Therefore, they are non biodegradable in nature. For example, the glass bottles, the plastic bottles, and the rubber or tire, etc. What are combustible waste and non-combustible waste? Combustible waste are those waste that are burned and produce heat and ash as a byproduct. For example, the plant residue and paper. Whereas non-combustible waste are those waste which does not burn. For example, glass bottle and aluminum foils. What are commingle waste? Commingle waste are actually the unsegregated waste or the mixed waste. So the moment you say it's unsegregated or uh, mixed waste, therefore it includes both petrusible and non-petrusible waste as well as the recyclable and the non-recyclable waste. What are an inner waste? Inner waste are those type of waste which are actually biologically and chemically inactive in nature and their presence does not pose any threat to the environment at all. For example, sand, concrete, glass bottle, bricks, tiles, and etc. Next, we'll see what are dry waste and wet waste. As the name suggests, Dry waste are those waste which have relatively low to zero moisture content in nature. And, but they include both recyclable and non-recyclable waste, such as plastic bottles, aluminum, foils, paper, cardboard, etc. And wet waste are those waste which have high moisture content. Therefore, they are biodegradable in nature and also they are most likely to contaminate the dry waste. For example, food waste and liquid farm waste. So, after defining and understanding the meaning of the different types of municipal solid waste terminology, it is easier now to understand the meaning of 
a refuse, a rubbish, a trash, and a garbage. First, let's see what is a refuse. Refuse is actually a synonym for waste. It is more of a formal term used for waste. And when you say refuse, it includes all the municipal solid waste. Refuse will include both a producible and non producible waste, also as a recyclable and non recyclable material in the waste. And therefore, a refuse will include both the garbage and the rubbish. Now, to understand the other three, that is the garbage, the rubbish, and the trash, it is easier to remember by using the chart that I prepared in this slide. See. A refuse, as I mentioned earlier, includes both a producible and a non producible waste, right? So, any solid waste or municipal solid waste which are producible in nature or decomposable in nature are referred to as garbage. You see, for example, food waste and the animal waste. Whereas, solid waste which are non producible in nature or non-decomposable in nature are referred to as rubbish for example bottles and rubber you see rubbish are further subdivided into a combustible waste and the non-combustible waste so now waste material which are combustible in nature are referred to as trash whereas waste which are non-combustible in nature are refers to as scrap or a debris so these are the references that i use for this presentation in this video and with this we have come to an end of this video and by watching this video i believe you will be able to understand the different terminology that we often use or associated with municipal solid waste so thank you so much for watching this video once again and God bless.